Okay, greetings all. Dr. Paul Cummins here. Uh, we're going to talk about Java Swing Containers. This is the first step really to writing graphical user interface programs using Java. Uh, there's more than one way to do it. Uh, the built-in toolkit uh, is known as Swing. Nothing particularly special about that name. Don't try to read anything into it. But know that the GUI toolkit in Java is known as Swing. So uh, let's get right to it. Uh, here's our plan of attack. We're going to talk about GUI components and GUI containers. Components, a components or a GUI widget uh, is simply a graphical user interface artifact. You know all about them. Buttons, push bot, uh, buttons, check boxes, radio buttons, text fields, those are all GUI components or widgets. Components go into containers. So we'll talk about uh, how to create a component, put it in a container. Uh, one of the things that's pretty nice about the Swing Toolkit is all of your GUI components have a common base class. They're all descendants of the J component class. And the good news there, uh, if you know the J component class, uh, you can apply a large amount of functionality to many, many different GUI components and GUI widgets. So, what exactly is a GUI component. So if you see up here, uh, these are all, see here's a button component, here's another button component, so here's three different button components. Those are all GUI components or widgets. Here are checkboxes, checkbox components. Um, so uh, simply stated, a GUI component is an object that represents a, a user interface item, a screen element, uh, a button, a text field, a radio button, uh, a checkbox. There's a, a the Java Swing Toolkit. It's fully featured. There's a large variety of components uh, or widgets available for your use. Um, GUI-related classes are defined primarily. Now, the one I want you to pay attention to is this one right here. JavaX for Java Extension dot swing. Those are where the swing components are located. Now, just for your just for your information, uh, don't use these. But for your information, there are other GUI components uh, in the Java Development Kit, uh, and those are so-called AWT, the Abstract Windowing Toolkit. Uh, AWT components. We're going to be using swing components, but just for your information, you'll see AWT, and we will use some AWT classes, but the components are all swing. The AWT components are actually from a completely different toolkit, a uh, graphical user interface toolkit, that actually came before swing. Uh, it was the first original when the JDK was first developed back in uh, release back in back in the late 90s. Uh, the AWT was the Java GUI toolkit. The Swing package provides additional and more versatile components. So the Swing, uh, the Swing toolkit, the Swing components are an improvement over the AWT components. Now, you will see both packages. Uh, in our Java GUI programs. We will use some classes out of the AWT, but just to be clear, our GUI components all come out of javax.swing. So components or widgets are placed in containers. What is a container? So a container so a container uh, is actually a component itself, but a container is a component that is used to hold and organize other components. So a fundamental thing to get your head around is this idea that uh, components or widgets are placed in containers. So a friend, and the most common, by far and away the most common, uh, 
a frame or a window is the most common uh, container. The one that we will be using is called a J-frame, and the fully qualified name is JavaX, Java Extension, dot swing, dot J-frame. You'll see this with all the swing components. You'll see JavaX, dot swing, dot J frame dot J button dot J panel dot date J text field. So the frame though, the frame, and you probably can see this, the frame is this right here. We're going to take components and we're gonna put we're gonna put them into this container. So a frame is a separate window with a title bar and also the controls that you used to to minimize maximize and close now one of the things that's nice in Java Java is cross-platform so you will see a set of controls that corresponds to the native controls for whatever OS you're using uh, so a separate window with a title bar uh, and it can be repositioned and resized on the screen as needed now a J frame is a top level container. There's other containers as well. There's a panel, JavaX.swing.j panel. Uh, a panel is also a container, but it's not a top level container. So a panel is used to organize other components. So, for example, if you had a panel, uh, you might put some components into the panel, right? You'd place your components into the panel. Then you'd take the whole panel and put it into the frame. So that's how that works. A panel must be added to another container to be uh, displayed. And specifically, it must be added to a top-level container. So the fundamental idea uh, is... We have this idea of containers and components. Uh, a a top-level container uh, is a window or a frame, uh, and we create components, sometimes referred to as widgets, and we place them in the container. Uh, so stay with that idea, and we'll pick that uh, that idea, and we'll pick it up in the next video. All right. See you then.